Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survival of this, and we return to Card Wars Genesis, where it's time to let you guys in on a little secret secret. So, last week, or last episode, I was asking you guys why you don't think Card Wars Genesis kind of is one of the more top mods for Card Wars, why it doesn't stand out as much. And the friend who was asking me is actually somebody you guys probably know pretty well already. If it doesn't clue in already, it's going to pretty easily. Because they... What they've been trying to think of is why it doesn't get up the top mod spot, and how can it be up amongst the top mods. And this friend is the charismatic, the famous, the authority on all things carnivores, Saurian Target himself. He proposed that he wants to update Carnivore's Genesis and do some work on it to try to bring it up towards the top spot, or maybe not the top, top spot. But at least bring Carnivore's Genesis a little higher up in the Carnivore's mods ranking and get a little more... Uh, noteworthy and have a more solid place amongst the top mods. So, what he proposed to me is that he wanted me to be one of the playtesters for what he's dubbing Carnivorous Genesis Redux, where it's going to be going through updating some models, some graphics, some things like that to improve Carnivorous Genesis as a whole and just try to bump it up a little further. So how it's working right now is progress is being slowly made on the mod, but I'm going to do this as like special side-by-side -side episodes. So what you're watching here is going to be the public release Carnivore's Genesis right now, which is just what we've been playing for the past few weeks. But episode 2 for today, yeah, you guys are getting 2 for 1 day, pretty nice there, is going to be the Carnivore's Genesis Redux Edition. So what we're going to do is kind of do a side-by-side -side of this is what the current mod has in it and what the hunting is like, and this is what the Redux will have to it. So there's nothing too much to show off in this episode, but I want to fill you guys in on that. And one of the reasons why I wanted to keep it a little more secret last week about this proposal was to get a more neutral understanding towards how Genesis could be improved and where it falls short. I let me get a drink because I'm already talking quite a bit. So what it seems to be is a lot of people, or at least a lot of the commenters, seem to think Genesis is more of just a reskin mod. And I can understand where they're coming from. They all agreed the maps are good and great. So that's something we can already check, doesn't really need improvement on, those are good. The dinosaurs and the weapons, however, seem to be a mixed bag. Like, for me, I can easily see it in the dinosaurs. The Parasaur, the Ankylosaur, the Stegosaur. I mean, the Sinraptor is kind of a reskin of just an Allosaurus. The Triceratops is just a reskin. The Utah Raptor is kind of a reskin of the Velociraptor, but I'm not too sure how much so, like, in that regard, it's hard to say. But I'd still probably rank the Utah Raptor, the Dilophosaurus, the Carnotaurus, and the Mantelodon as new dinosaurs entirely. So I think the roster is a little bit of why it still feels like a reskin. There are some things I could use some work there. As for the weapons, as much as you guys do want to say they are reskins, you gotta admit that a lot of the weapons throughout all carnivores are just going to kind of play the same. A pistol's a pistol, a shotgun's a shotgun. Now you can change the model and the animations up, which can be fantastic. But in general, a lot of the weapons are just going to be a lot of what we've already sort of gone through and used. Like, there are some exceptions, like the Turok bow is the only mo weapon I've seen in any of the mods that is like it. Um, and then Mandibles has the minigun. So it might well be that it's more... Because the other stuff feels more reskin, some of these kind of come off that way as well. But at least the big thing here is that we got that neutral sort of position to see what people are kind of summarizing it as and where Genesis is falling short. For a lot of people, it seems to be that it doesn't feel like it's a standalone mod. It's mostly a reskinning mod. So the when we were, when I was talking to Story and Target, setting the proposal up, and I commented about where I think Genesis could improve, it was mostly with the dinosaurs. We've already hunted the Parasaur, the Ankylosaur, the Sago, the Trike so often they don't feel like new dinosaurs. It feels like playing just like what we've already tried to ground with. And it takes you a while before you get into what I would consider the u new unique mod, or mod dinosaurs. So what my suggestion was, instead of doing the exact dinosaurs, do new models of different species but the same family. Like instead of a Parasaur, a Lambiosaur, or another Hadrosaur. Instead of an Ankylosaur, a Notosaur, an Ankylosaur. Something like that, where it looks different, has different texture, but it still has the same kind of feel of a carnivores mod of how the families go through to how you progress. So, the way we're going to show this off, and I'm just double-checking my little credit list in the one screen here, 
It's going to be a Dilophosaurus hunt. And we're going to basically just doing this because I don't have the poise for it. So what's going to happen is I'm just going to transfer the save copy of Base Genesis over to the Redux version. So that way it's literally a side by side of how things are. So we're going to go to the Wood of Tyrannus Chalks for a vanilla Dilophosaurus hunt. See how we do. And then in a few hours, once you guys have kind of stewed over some thoughts in your head or that, or you just have a little space and breather, we'll have the second video of the day, sort of our part two, that is the redux of Genesis, that we'll see what the Lost Source is like there. But everything is looking good there, so we're going to hop in and finally get to this brand new hunt. So let's go in and get started. Okay, so we're all loaded in here. Oh, crap. Okay, well, it already tried to introduce itself. So here is the Dilophosaurus. Got a lot of interesting sounds. I give it, I do like it. It's kind of more what the... Well, I don't want to say too paleontolog paleontologically correct. God, that's a mouthful. But it's not quite the most scientifically accurate. Let's just put it that way. Like, the frill is something that was completely Jurassic Park made up, so it's good to see that that's not here on it. The little crests are actually indicative to Dilophosaurus, and does have more of a Dilophosaurus build to it. So it's really nice to see that through, and this is where I do feel like that is more of its own kind of unique creature in a way. I do know that the Dilophosaurus, the Utah, and the Carno were all in carnivores... I think Dinosaur Hunter. It was the mobile version. I don't actually have a smartphone to play that with, so maybe one day if I find an emulator or something for the PC, well, we can do that as a series, but to me, that is an entirely new dinosaur. The only issue I do have, again, is that you don't hit the entirely new until well into the mod. And I do admit, it does actually remind me a lot of the Lillian Sternus from Triassic. It does have a lot of the similarities to... Oh. Okay, just a Gallimimus running. I thought that was a Dilophosaur for a second there. Oh, Sinraptor out there. I just want to look around and good, because I did hear another reply from over this way. Oh, just a Metrodon kind of trotting through. Yeah, so, like, the Lillian Sternus does look very similar to Dilophosaurus, but I would still say that, in my opinion, the Dilophosaurus is a standalone mod dinosaur. It's not just a reskin to me, it is its own kind of individual animal. So, Dilophosaurus is something that's actually going to be improved on. It is modeled and animated by Star Freak, and it'll be sounded by Beep Beep. So, we'll see what that entails as we kind of get closer to... Okay, that's just you kind of running away. Just want to try to take him out before... Oh, Lord. There we go. Good Lord, I am not doing the best with the pistol in water, am I? Okay, but at least that's him taken care of, so we can go after another Dilophosaurus. Let's see what that's like. But I guess that really is where Genesis has to prove itself as a standalone mod, is that it has to get some more unique models and more unique animals to its roster. I don't think the weapons actually need all that much changing, because again, they play so similarly it's more of, unless you really, really pay attention, I don't think they'll stand out too much. Things like the Mandibles roster with, like, the minigun and the railgun, I think they really did mostly because of a few factors. The minigun was kind of easy to understand why it stood out. I mean, it had complete animation and plays unlike any other weapon in the series where it is a literal minigun you're using. And then for the railgun, the reason that stood out was just because of how powerful it was, but that was more because of what the roster animals were like. There we go. I'm actually getting better carnivores. I'm able to dodge these guys. 
But yeah, so I do think, in my opinion, that is where Carnivore's Genesis should focus most of its Redux resources, is improving the dinosaur roster to make it feel a little bit more standalone and unique on its own. The maps, you don't have to touch. I think everybody has kind of a consensus. Superb work on the maps. They do not need to be touched at all or updated or anything. So the focus will probably be on... Oh, is that another one up there? Yes, it is. Oh, although we don't have a lot of uh, pistol shots left. We'll try to get that too. The main focus for the mod redux should be towards trying to give it more of this standalone and new feeling. Oh, there we go. God, it sounds like that breathing's right in your ear when you hear it. I'm actually surprised how easy these guys are going down. Either we have to be getting very lucky with the shotgun shots. I think that's the only way that we're getting them so easily. So we're going to head back just to get a few more weapons to try out and see. Because there are some weapons that I'll be able to show off in the episode coming that will be included in Redux. So let me head on back and we'll see how our points are looking because they should be nice. Okay, so we're back in the menu here, and we did get a nice amount of points. We didn't exactly get the C1 rifle, but we do have enough to get the bow next. And one... So let me take a look here at the Redux stuff. Okay. So it looks like the... Redux is going to use some of the Reborn-style models. Like the Dinosaur Hunter Reborn, we're going to have some of those models come over. So the rifle... The revolver... And the laser rifle, which I guess is not here... Doesn't look like it, at least. Are going to be modeled and animated by that one cactus. And then the sniper is also actually going to be done by a follower of the channel, Mert Burt. With, is going to, they're going to try to have the reborn sniper rifle as one of the things. And that mostly covers it right now. There is going to be a new bonus animal that's modeled by Poa Rex and animated by Star Freak. So there's that that we'll maybe check out in the Redux. But for now, this is sort of like the baseline to see what the base Genesis is right now for Dilophosaurus. The Redux, which will be coming out in just a couple of hours. Well, two or three hours, my apologies on inaccurate timing, but you guys kind of know the style. One's at 1 p.m., one's at 4 p.m. Eastern, so in three hours you'll see it. We'll go over another Dilophosaurus hunt with everything we've got and show off what it's like there. But for now, because we got a little bit of time, we're going to treat you guys even more. So we're going to get two hunts in one episode, and two videos one day. Okay, we're all loaded in here now. Do we have any of them trying to greet us? Okay, looks like we're actually off to a calmer start on this hunt. Okay, everybody's just running away, which is good. And then the last part that is on the list I didn't mention is there is also going to be the Gallimimus is getting an update. Now, it was ported in by IBC, but it says they're no longer part of the community, so I'm guessing this is more of a sort of legacy work in a way. So that's something we'll definitely go over everything again in the Genesis Redux episode coming out in a bit. But just to give you guys the heads up of how it's sort of going to be, is I'm going to do this vanilla showcase of what they are now, what they're going to look to be, and it's not going to be something that I'll do every week going forward. It's only going to be as new builds come up. And one of the things is because it is still in development and there's a lot of playtesting and things to fix and work and tweak, is it's not going to be a public release yet. It's going to be more just exclusive playtesting of how feedback comes in, what people think of it, and where they can focus on improving things. So that's another reason why I didn't want to mention right away that this was done like, Saurian actually got a hold of me to set this up. Okay, so that's just water, so... I guess the source managed to sniff us out there. So we'll have to work our way over to him. But this way, because I didn't want to, like, affiliate this too much with Saurian Target right away, I want more of a neutral... Just... Neutral perspective and non-biased towards what can be improved and how it could be bettered. Like, one of the things is, if you do know this is directly backed by the person, you kind of feel there may be a little bit of things you're not sure you want to say outright as much. Like, you don't want to hurt the person's feelings in that, so I wanted something more where it was more of an anonymous reaction and review of things. And I think we got that thanks to you guys commenting last week very well. So I want to thank you all very much for the feedback you provided, because 
Again, that feedback is probably going to be very, very helpful for the entire project to see what direction things should go in. So everything's looking pretty calm here. We just gotta continue on the trail to Dilafo, so we gotta just to go for a swim. Remind ourselves not to drown, because my face is blocking where the uh, little breath meter is. We gotta remember that. It almost seems like I have to do a few different presets for when the UI elements are in the top right or not. Okay, no reply back, so I do gotta be careful. Because we did see it running off this way last time. And you guys might also know I'm kind of a little more bundled up than usual. It's getting cold up around my area, so... Even in my place, I gotta wear another layer or two to stay warm. And unfortunately, that also means that sometimes you get an itch right on your nose, or you gotta blow the nose, and it's not exactly best timing in order to do stuff like that, so... Again, we're just going to try to see... Get another animal or two, just to kind of show off more of the Dilophosaurus. I do really, really like how they hunt, though. I think one of the big things for... Oh, what mod was it? I think it might have actually been mandibles. Because some of the d animals didn't, like, lunge as much, it was a little harder to dodge them if they got in close. Whereas in Genesis, because everything does have, like, the leap to it, or... They... Okay, I thought I saw it. Or in general, they kind of do their lunges and leaps a bit more. You feel like you have more of a chance of actually engaging and winning the fight if they do get in close to you. Whereas sometimes, like if the animal just runs right up to you, you're... There's not really much you can do aside from hope you really got enough shots in or that one mortal shot to down it right then before it reaches you. So I really do have to give props. I like how the leaps don't automatically make like short or a close range, almost like an instant loss, you have a bit of a fighting chance there. Hmm. I can get, like, one reply, but then I don't get anything else back. That's odd. Seems like maybe this entire second hunt will just be trying to get a single one of them. Okay, we'll try another call and see. Okay, I don't... I'm pretty sure I heard a reply back that was in this general direction there, but I guess maybe I have to go for a little run and see. But... For me, when it comes to the weapons in Genesis or Law of the Mods, again, they do play very similar, so it's more, I think, less, like, impact depending on how the weapons are. Like, if you can manage something like the minigun or the bow that we've seen, they can change things up quite a bit, but... For the most part, I'd say Genesis's weapon roster, I don't think it really needs that much touching. There might be small visual stuff, but... Because of the sheer variety of, like, pistol, shotgun, bow, and there's still stuff we have yet to see, too. I don't think that one needs too much work done to it. Oh, that actually reminds me. Mert actually told me something interesting. There's a way... You actually can. Oh my god. You can zoom in with the binoculars. Mert actually commented just last week about that, and I had no idea you could do that. That actually makes me wonder... Yeah, you can't zoom in with that, but I might actually have to try with the sniper rifle. Because it's almost like a scope, I wonder if you could have an option like that to zoom in, too. That is really, really interesting that, like, it took that long to figure out that you could actually zoom in with the binoculars. I had no idea. Oh, Dimetrodon Galamimus. Oh, Lord, it feels like I'm the only thing out here like to try to get one more Dilophosaurus before we end the hunt off, and then we'll do the Redux in just a few hours. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to scare you guys, but we got to try to find something to make this second hunt worth it.
There we go. Okay, we're probably going to use the pistol. I mean, I'd like to use the bow, but I also have to fight the clock a little bit. So we're going to make this one fast if we can. It's going to be fast either. It's going to be we're giving him a free lunch or we're going to have ourselves another Dilophosaur to take the back. Okay, it's... Oh, is that running away? I was trying to get it to come to us. Okay, weird random one step was super loud compared to the others. Man, I didn't think I'd have this time, tr this hard of a time trying to aggravate a dinosaur. It usually seems to be the opposite. I'm trying not to and everybody gets pissed off at me. Okay. Well, at least we're getting in close now. I don't see it, though. Oh, there you are. Oh. Okay, do these guys have a mortal zone to them? Because that feels like it was... Really, really easy. Like, just two, maybe even a single pistol shot. But we'll get one more, just like, last little look over. And we'll head back with that little bit of points there. So, next will be the Genesis Redux episode. And what I'm going to do for the Redux, now that we're back in the menu, is I'm just going to transfer this exact save file over to the Redux, and we'll show everything off proper and just have another intro like we did there. But in the meantime, Thank you guys very much for joining me on this episode of Carnivore's Genesis. If you do have feedback about improving the Genesis mod, be sure to leave it in the comments here, or head over to the Saurian Targus channel. I'm going to see if there's a way we can kind of collaborate and get, get a way that way feedback can be left more directly to him as well, so that way he has all the tools he would like or need to like shape Genesis how he wants to as the Redux continues along. This is, once again, going to be... Uh, actually, I'll talk about that in the Redux more, but it's not going to be a public release yet. He wants to do some more playtesting, get everything working more towards how he wants. And as soon as a public release is available, I'm sure he will let you know, and I'll let you know as well. So, for now, thank you guys very much. And if you have any comments, tips, tricks, anything whatsoever, be sure to leave them in the comments right down below. As for anything else, I think that's about it. So I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video in just a few hours. So please remember, as always, survivors, to take care and stay alive.